hi guys welcome back to my channel so yes let's get started welcome back today i'm gonna be talking about four effective ways of reading a self-help book so the first one is that choose a book that is for you the reason why i say this is because sometimes we get immersed or we get lost in what people are suggesting some people may be like um you should read this book because it helped me or you should read that book because it did this and this for my daughter or whatever like something like that right so the reason why i say choose a book for you is because i want you to read a book that will help you so i want you to look at two things when you are choosing a book that is for you the first one is that choose a book that will help you improve that area that has been lacking in your life right for example let's say maybe you have low self-confidence choose a book that will help you improve your self-confidence the second one is that choose a book that will help you excel in an area that you want to pursue for example I am a transformational speaker, so I would read a book that will help me improve how to tell stories so that my story can be able to be said in a way that it can convey my message clearly. I hope you got my point. The second one is that set a target for yourself. The reason why I say this is because you read a book in order to finish it, right? So when you say, I'm gonna read this book for 30 minutes every single day that will help you finish it or you can say i'm gonna read it for an hour every single day but there are some people who can also say they're gonna read that book i mean they're gonna read only five pages every single day so that they can be able to finish it right the third tip jot down notes this is very important there are some people who will be like no instead of like writing them down i'll just highlight and let's say maybe it's it's um it's an ebook right you'd be like i'm just going to highlight the important part just imagine you're on page 17 right you highlighted on page 17 and that book has 230 pages are you telling me that you're gonna be scrolling through until page 17 to look at um all the lessons that you got it's quite impossible and you may you may even be lazy to do that so i suggest you write your notes where they're easily accessible this is what i do i was reading uh i was reading 5 a.m club and i jotted down these notes because whenever i want to check out my lessons or just be browsing through everything that i've read from other books or even this book i'll be able to see the lessons that i jotted down because obviously you can't write everything down right you write something that resonates with you so i suggest you do this it's easily accessible and you can also write the lesson the way it is in the book or you can write it the way you understand it it's easier that way the fourth tip which is the very important one is that teach what you learn this is how you'll be able to engrave the, the lessons that you learn that is the only way so you need to teach what you learn for example i personally let's say maybe in a conversation oh uh, we'll just be having a casual conversation and then i realize that what we are talking about is actually in relation to what i read i will explain that in a way that the book taught me or how i understood it in order to help the other person get the lesson that I also got. So teach it, right? That is how you'll be able to remember everything that you learned in the book and how you'll be able to practice it also. Those are my four tips that I had for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, press the subscribe button, it really helps, and press the bell button to get notified whenever I'm posting a new video. So yes, I'll see you next time